Wow. Because I had a Petco Pals reward, it saved me a whole dollar. I love that. Thanks, um, why can't my brain form words right now? bit of a shopping spree for my animals and I have a list of things that I need to get mostly I'm gonna get cork bark and <clears throat> my goal is to get a rupted thermostat because I need to control my heat mats and make sure that they don't get too hot however we may not get that today depending on the prices because it might actually be cheaper online so I have a little Petco gift card and I have a little coupon for some of my hermit crabs food so we're gonna go get some food I made myself actually I timed it so that I would run out of certain things around this time so that way when I film this video you guys would enjoy seeing me buy more items than what I would actually buy on a run because normally I run out of things at different points in the day or year month whatever I don't know how often I go to the pet store honestly I've had people ask me and I'm like I just go when I need to go <laughs> but anyway so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so hey guys, and we're back in this kind of weird position where I have this light in front of me that is freaking blinding me the entire video. But you gotta do what you gotta do because it's basically nighttime now, and let me scoot back a little bit. So, I got a lot of requests to do a Petco kind of like follow around me around in the store kind of video, but I don't feel super comfortable filming in front of Petco and employees. So, I got a few clips of me going into Petco, which we'll probably be playing before this whole segment. And so now, I'm going to do a proper little Petco haul and show you guys what I all got. Um, let me see which bag has my receipt in it first. Anyway, so I ended up spending about 106 at Petco, and then I spent an additional $22 at my local pet store, which I love. They specialize in reptiles and other exotic animals. So, altogether, I spent $128 about, and a lot of people were asking me about how much I spend each um, time I go shopping and how often I go shopping, but really it just depends. I don't have enough animals to where it's like scheduled trips where I go. Um, the animal that I frequently buy the most items for is my cat because she's a bigger animal. She eats a lot more and she's just very needy. Um, typically though, I would say I probably go to Petco about once a month to get different supplies for my animals. This time around, I actually let myself run out of certain items on purpose. Like instead of getting them when I normally would, I put it off and waited a little bit longer so that way I'd have a little bit um, I could show you most of the items that I buy for my animals on a every once in a while. So we have a lot of items. Um, I had cat food that I bought, but all of my cat food is now in my pantry. So I made a whole video where I talked about what I feed my cat. So if you want to see that video, I will leave the link in the description box below. So that food will not be in this video, but that is a part of the $106 that I did spend because that is a freaking lot of money. And I had a little coupon that I cut out for one of my Hermit Crabs food things. So, you know, wherever you can, just freaking cut out coupons, get what you can. I also had a gift card that I spent $100 with. The main goal of this video actually was to buy um, thermostats for my under tank heaters. But Petco is a freaking ripoff. Here's the thing. Let me just be mad about this company for a second, even though I just bought a bunch of stuff from them. Basically, you have to be careful because certain things that you buy from big name brands like Petco or PetSmart are literally going to rip you off. This is because they specialize in one specific goods, animals, and there aren't many other stores that have come up so quickly as they have that specify, specify that work in animal goods. 
And so a lot of times they try to overcharge you for certain things because they know that they can overcharge you and they know that you'll pay for it. So um, for the Undertake heaters, they want $62 in-store, but yet they'll give you it for $47 online. And literally Chewy has it for like $38, and even once you add up the tax and the shipping, it does not come to the amount of $62, and it does not even come up to the $47 that they'll charge you, not including shipping and handling on um, their Petco website. So what I'm trying to say is that don't buy thermostats from Petco, they're trying to rip you off. And there are a lot of things that Petco actually tries to rip you off, but this isn't a time to be annoyed. This is a haul because Petco is the most convenient location and they actually do carry a lot of animal supplies that my local pet store doesn't carry. Otherwise, I would only be shopping at my local pet store. So since I'm bashing Petco right now and lifting up my local pet store, let's go through what my, why I bought my local pet store for today. First, I got crickets. Whenever I can get crickets from them, I get crickets from them because I'm pretty sure they gut load their crickets and they don't raise your crickets in absolutely nasty conditions. Ideally, I would like my um, two crested geckos to be eating dubia wretches, but the last time I gave them dubias, they absolutely refused to eat any of them, so that was a complete waste of money. Eventually, I will force them to go on to dubias. I will give them the ultimatum of either you go on dubias or you don't eat insects anymore. So those are just for them for tonight and the rest of the week to kind of munch on slowly. I have 12 large. Next, I got my Crested Geckos, this little pack of food. This is Pangea apricot flavor. Um, my geckos personally really haven't shown a preference for any kind of flavor, although my crusted gecko Scotchy, who's my oldest animal, he does prefer um, Rapashi's seasonal flavor, the pineapple that I have for them. So I ran out of their other foods um, flavors and all I have is pineapple right now and I figure they're probably sick of eating pineapple. So I got one of these little Pangeas for them. I also got this bag of Eco Earth. Normally I buy Eco Earth bricks, but I was curious to see how it would be having the bag instead. Um, I think that the bricks might actually be a better value now that I'm kind of looking at it, but honestly making the bricks is so annoying. I always end up adding too much water or not enough water and then I have to mix the chunks. And so honestly, if I can have the convenience of it being pre-packaged, I'm not going to be annoying. I have to change the, um, Eco Earth that my crabs are currently in because it is getting really gross and so I needed more Eco Earth because I currently have three bricks under my um, what you call it but it takes four bricks to fill up their tank and this is about the equivalent of a brick. So now that we've done that, let's go to what is actually the title of this video. I don't know why Petco doesn't sell Eco Earth in bags. That's so random and they also don't sell Pangea so that's why I went to them for that. But now on to what I actually bought from Petco. First, I got some reptile munchies. Is that what this is called? Yeah. This is just vegetable mix. Um, it's by Zilla. So basically, this is all dehydrated vegetables. You just put it in some water, let it soak for a couple minutes, drain out the water, and then you have some nice veggies for your animals. I don't eat that many vegetables, and so my house isn't filled with many vegetables, but hermit crabs require a very varied diet, so in order to give them what they need in the way of vegetables, I give them um, this. I also do give them fresh uh, carrots every once in a while, or like fresh broccoli, but I don't have an outstanding amount of fresh vegetables, so this is just to make up for that. And this is also what they gave me a coupon on. I got $2 off of this big bag. Then I got this cork round. I got this also for my hermit crabs because I just thought that they would like something kind of more natural. I actually want to create a kind of natural bioactive um, vivarium for them, but I'm not completely sure how. I've been reading a couple um, hermit crab forms. I did have springtails in their tank when I first set it up, but I don't think any of them made it. Um, I need to figure out how to support springtails in that environment, even though you would think they do really well in there. Um, especially since the hermit crabs love to hide food. So I just got them this cork round that they can hide in and that will hopefully give their um, environment a little bit more naturalistic kind of fields. Also they can eat cork bark I'm pretty sure I read so they can munch on that if they want. So now we have another piece of wood. This is Mopani driftwood. Mopani? I think I said that right. Um, so basically I got some driftwood because when I did Scotchy's Bioactive Vivarium I used cork bark but this time when I do Clyde's bi uh, Bioactive Vivarium I'm going to be trying driftwood. I'm not sure how it's gonna go. I know that's I think 
is it Mopani? I might be thinking of grapevine. Um, there is a certain type of wood that does rot. However, I had a piece of Mopani that was molding in my hermit crab tank originally, but after I soaked it in a salt water solution, it no longer molds. So I'm thinking that I might try that if it seems like it's going to mold. Um, but I'm already collecting supplies to do the Clyde's tank. I'm really excited about it because um, I don't know if I've already posted that I redid Scotchy's tank a little and freshened it up. And so I think that now I'm kind of like on expert level of doing these tanks. Not expert level, I'm just kidding. But I think I'm definitely getting the hang of it and I'm really excited to start experimenting with more tanks and making them look good. Because Scotchy's tank I didn't completely plan out, but Clyde's tank I'm trying to plan out a little bit more meticulously. So next I got some terrarium moss. I'm pretty sure this is just sphagnum moss. I actually didn't really look at it, but it's honestly completely fine. Um, I'm going to put this into the crab's cage. Actually, I have enough moss in my crested gecko enclosures, but I just wanted to boost the humidity a little bit in there. I mean, it's already at 70%, but I'm hoping with a little bit of added moss as a hiding spot for the springtails that it will encourage the springtails to breed. Also, it will create a little bit more of a bioactive kind of thing and a more natural look. And I think the crabs will actually really like it. I read on some forums that um, you can put moss in with your hermit crab, so I'm hoping that they really like that. I have never would have thought to put it in there for them. So next, we got something kind of basic. I just got a little bit of hermit crab food. And I'm ready. The comments. First off, I've been talking about my hermit crabs a lot this video because I bought them a lot of stuff. Second off, I'm showing this and everyone's probably like, this girl Satan, why is she feeding her hermit crabs commercial hermit crab food? Well, let me tell you, this is not their only diet. I already showed you guys that I have um, dried vegetables, I have freeze-dried um, fruit, I have mealworms, bloodworms, fish food on occasion. Um, I feed them so much stuff I can't even list it here. But this is just a small staple in their diet. I just like giving it to them because I'm sure that it has certain things in them that I cannot give them. I cannot physically inject vitamins into them. I can't buy all these vitamins separately. I'm sure that this has good stuff in it that they definitely do need. Um, it's not um, something that you should solely feed your hermit crabs. They do need an extremely varied diet. If you just give them this alone, you're going to have some very sad and probably very unhealthy crabs because this does have a lot of fish meal in it and stuff, so it's not even the best thing. But I like giving it to them to offer them a wider variety and to make sure that they're getting certain vitamins and stuff that I can't give them in any other way. So while we're on this topic, I do not condone the sale or purchase of hermit crabs. Hermit crabs are wild caught. That's bad, bad, bad. I've made so many videos talking about it, uh, my crabs are rescues. I did not go out and just say, I want that crab off the side of the road. Like, they were taken from people who could not care for them. And that's that. Anyway, so yeah, I got my hermit crabs, just some basic zoom in, um, hermit crab food, just because this is what they've always eaten. I know that they like it enough to eat it, so I'm just going to stick with that. I got some feeding tongs. Now the funny thing is, is these are animal related, and I'm not using them as feeding tongs. Um, I have a smaller pair of feeding tongs because I'm not afraid to get close to my geckos to feed them. I just don't want them accidentally biting my hand while I'm holding a cricket. It doesn't hurt, but I just don't want it to happen. And so I have a smaller pair of feeding tongs that I actually use for them. But these 10 inch feeding tongs, first off eventually I'll get a snake, so that might actually be what these end up getting used for. But I actually bought them for making small um, terrariums, so that way I can put the plants into the terrarium if it's like a small opening on top. So that's what those are for. So our last item is I got some coconut for the crabs. Um, just because it doesn't have anything in it, it's literally just dried coconut. Coconut that you're going to try to buy at the store oftentimes has like sugar or salt or something mixed into it or it's bleached or whatever. So you don't want any of that nasty stuff, so I just got some stuff. I know that I'm looking at it. What is this T-Rex? I have never heard of this company before and that hermit crab looks very high if I do say so. But anyway, 
Um, I've never tried them with any coconut, so I hope that they like it. I think the food that they originally came with that I actually do feed them some of is just like, um, I think it has coconut in it and like fish meal and stuff. So I think that they will enjoy the coconut. But yeah, I guess that's everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. I think there's anything else I need to say except for I have a good one. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.